too. Looks so really good. good. Yeah. I'm so relieved that you yeah. like it. You really like it. <laughs> right? You like it better. <laughs> I love it. I love okay, it. good, 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 good. <laughs> Welcome to another day in the life. Today's actually a really exciting day because, oh my gosh, I say that every time, but you know what, you guys? It is an exciting day when I'm filming and I'm hanging out with you. I love it. I love it. The reason why today is special is because I'm on my way to go grab Karina. And then we've got a couple errands that we need to do. We have to pick up a frame. Good question. <laughs> Where are we gonna put this? We gotta pick up some paint. Oh, you do? Yeah. So cool. Hi. Hi. What's your name? I'm Sandy. Hi, Sandy. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. This is Karina. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> We're vlogging a little bit today. Oh, cool. Yeah? Okay, cool. <laughs> we need to pick up some paint. Sure. Viewer tip. When you're painting, you always want an angled brush. I don't recommend cheaping out and getting like the three for one. Especially not for what we're doing. Because we need to do something that has a little bit of like artistry to it. So we need some good brushes. So good tools will lead to good results. When I was a kid, I used to love coming to the paint store and looking at paint colors. So did I. I used to organize my short sleeve shirts. Yeah. And then I would go all in like a color order. Yeah. And then all my pants all in a color order. So there's like a red section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, ooh, black section. <laughs> Blue <laughs> section, yeah, <laughs> totally. Thank you. You're welcome. Nice to meet you. It was nice meeting you. Yeah, you too. Thanks for watching all of our content. Yeah. I yeah. I'd see the new one. And then we're headed out to Walnut Grove Langley to do some finishing touches on one of our restaurant projects. So it's been a few weeks since we were out on site. So the restaurant is supposed to be about 90% done, I would say, if not a little bit more, which is really exciting. So we're gonna go out there, we're gonna do a little paint touch-ups, we're gonna do some finishing touches, make sure that the restaurant is uh, ready to go because construction hands it off next week. And we're just gonna have a fun Friday. Okay, Karina, do you have the address? Uh, yep, 8912 Street. Okay, I have to show you my favorite feature in this car. It has this CarPlay feature, so when you plug in up here, it will come up right here. So check this out. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. This will like root us right there. Perfect. Cool, right? Easy. We'll be there at eleven oh seven. Look at that. Oh, like great timing. That's great timing. That's good timing. Because <laughs> Paula got the TV working with like a presentation on there or something. Oh, sweet. It's so cool. to all of us. Karina said, "Yay." <laughs> Would you like to reply to the group? Yes. What do you want to say to the group? Clapping hands. Your message says clapping hands. Ready to send it? Send. Okay, it's sent. It literally just said clapping <laughs> Can you see? Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. It is actually awesome. I love that feature. So when you're plugged into your USB, because you can use all the functions of your phone, I guess you can use Siri. But it makes it so much easier because like, totally. when you're navigating and getting texts and stuff like that, mm -hmm. now you don't have to look at your phone at all. You can just do it right here. Yeah, and you don't have to, yeah. And then you, you and then yeah, it's just all voice commands. It's so good, I love it. Yeah, that's great. It's like super convenient for you How are you? Good, 
Are you inspector? Yeah. Somebody okay. Called for final. You look. You look like an inspector. Oh, no. okay. Good timing. Oh, We're the interior designers. Oh. Ooh, it looks so good. Oh, oh. These look really good too. Hi. Yay. Nice to see Hi. you. Oh, it's a, it's a little chilly in here. Is that a blazer to paint in? No. Okay. <laughs> no, I wasn't gonna wear this at all. I was just gonna wear my t-shirt, but I'm freezing yeah, right now. <laughs> the baskets look great. Cute. I love the color. I love it all. And the other day I was looking at the whole vision board and I'm like, wow, like it's all kind of come together. Yeah. All the different it's, yeah. Do you want me to get John to bring like a hoodie? <laughs> if he's coming out and you don't mind, I can borrow like a hoodie or a flannel. Anything I can paint in. Yeah. Maybe we should switch. So quick update for you guys. We have electrical still going in. A bunch of decor still needs to go up. You can see booths have been installed. We still need to put tables in. We have this beautiful planter box that's gone up. There's still millwork that has to be installed. Tabletops are missing. So you can see that it's all coming together but there's still a lot more work to do. To be fair, we've never done this before, so this is a little bit of a experiment in situ. So we have Benjamin Moore, Regal, it's Select. This is a water-based paint in a very light gray. Because this is a water-based paint, what we're gonna do is just water this down with water. That's it. We're gonna go over top of this plaster wall the idea is that the paint is going to just seep into sort of the cracks and you're going to be able to see the definition in the plaster a little bit better. So we're going to give it a go with one coat. Let that dry, assess. Yeah, this That's is better. better. That's way better. So I feel like we kind of just go for it. It's really runny. I feel like I should do the cutting. I'm going to get the little brush. Cutting? The cutting is when you cut the corners. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Good to know. So I actually like cutting corners with a brush, but when you have a nice angled brush, you can cut the corners and be more um, specific with where the paint is going. Mm -hmm. You just need a steady hand. Yeah, I'm teaching them about cutting corners. Oh, like legit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's Friday. It's a. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Wait, that's, I didn't mean to say that to our client. We're just cutting We're corners. We're just cutting corners. <laughs> We're just cutting corners. <laughs> We're... <laughs> it's a crack Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I kind of like this whole situation that's happening here. There's white poking through. I feel like that looks good. That's kind of what we want, right? How could you have left this up to, like, explain this to a contractor? They would just be painted all gray. Yeah. Sometimes, if you want things right, you just have to do it yourself. I feel like you're going to like it. Great. Time will tell. Time will tell. <laughs> Yeah. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. You do. It's true, exactly. you do. Yeah. I'm really happy we decided to do this. Yeah, It's huge improvement, I think. I like it way better. Yeah, same. You can actually tell that it's plastic. Yeah, now it feels way more defined. You don't like the gray. That's okay if you are not loving it. It's not done though. I know, it's a process. You're learning.
like I like the areas where it doesn't look thick. I like yes. the areas where it looks it's like very, a sponge painted yes. kind of. Totally. That I like. Yeah, we might go over it again and dry brush it with a light color. Dry brushing is a technique where your brush is has a little bit of paint, but is practically dry. And I'm using the, the side of the brush so that it's a little bit more like faded. Okay. I feel like we can do once and see how it looks. is another version of a watered down wall color paint. So that's just softening the first coat, the light gray. It's looking much better. This is the texture that we're going for. And now I'm gonna go in with a third coat, hopefully the final coat, which is really gonna soften the whole thing and finish this off. This looks way better. It's looking good. Yeah. It's looking good, right? Yeah, it's really good. It matches the tile. Yeah, yeah. And if you want to put all those different tones, I don't think it's high enough a little bit with those tones down there. I know. That was a happy fluke. Oh, that's a good fluke. A happy fluke. Yeah. yeah. That's going to look great when the shelf is in, the mini boards are up. I feel like it has yeah. some definition. It's not too dark. Yeah. In the meantime, while it's drying, we're going to hang the baskets. They are so pretty. I love these baskets. I thought it looked cute the way you guys had it before. It says in the back, handmade in Rwanda by Claudine. So the person hand writes their name, which is really cute. And then it says design with intention. So these baskets, your purchase allows our artisan women to buy livestock to feed their families. So that's pretty special. So plant wall. I almost feel like we need to plant it with the plants so that you can space them properly. Because we don't have a screwdriver, right? My OCD is like wanting to control this and just install it myself right now. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to do it. Just uh, let me do it. Like, are you thinking different heights? Kind of sprinkle? Yeah, I think, like, yeah, definitely like more clustered. A little bit more random. Yeah. I'm thinking big to small. Yeah. Three on the bottom like, to and start. The same kind of level. Yeah. Do you almost want it and then tightening up like a pyramid? Or you still want no. <laughs> I feel like straight at the bottom and then it can just like stagger out. Start, yeah. And then it can I kind can of fan out, you know, but then you have a nice just clean line at the bottom. Okay. That's what I think. Yeah. No, it's gonna look awesome. Yeah. It's gonna look really good. And I'm excited to see you next week. Yeah. Yeah. I have to say, I have been loving driving this Buick. It's a super comfortable car. It's great around the city. Heading from here to Langley is not a short trip. Those trips are so much better when you get to drive a really great vehicle. Super easy to navigate. You can fit tons of stuff in the back as you guys saw. I really am loving this Buick. So that wraps up today's day in the life. I am so tired. Everybody is so tired. Karina is so tired. Little D's tired. We're all tired. It's the end of the day. It's the end of the week. <sighs> what a great day though. A really great 
fulfilling and satisfying day and it's so great to see that Down to Earth is coming together so beautifully. Let me know if you are liking the design so far. I'd love to hear your comments. Just really quickly for some of you guys, if you are not following me on Instagram, jump over to my Instagram. Make sure you follow me there because A, that's where you get quicker access to me, almost real time updates as to what's going on much faster than you get it on YouTube. As always, if you like today's video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do subscribe because you wanna know when videos are coming out. You wanna get that notification, so also hit that notification bell. Until I see you guys again, bye for now. I think that looks really good. We are just working in a plant wall. So we've got this whole wall that's gonna be covered with plants. This shelf has been installed and that looks really good. The tile below has been grouted. So gorgeous.